pandemic has made it hard for many to find work, especially those who work as freelancers in the gig economy. Eriketa Koss joining us now live with this story. Eriketa, you spoke with a freelancer who can offer some advice. Yeah, I spoke with someone who started out his career specializing in sound recording technology and film production, but over the years, he started to branch out a bit, especially in the pandemic, and it's doing things in areas he never thought he would. Stephen DeFiori likes working in production, helping companies film advertisements, helping music groups with their sound recording, but with COVID-19, that has looked a lot different. I'm always on edge. It wasn't until the summertime when things could feel a little closer to normal. Things start to get a little bit more relaxed and, and people started to, to do more and, and stream more. Steven says things naturally calmed down in the production industry in the winter, but on top of that, a pandemic. One of the reasons why he's casting his net in more places. The jack of all trades and wearing many hats kind of uh, role is something that you really have to get into, um, especially in a smaller town like Rochester. Some of those things, helping with his high school play production without an audience, and also things beyond his expertise. I took some some construction work uh, with my, my family business. Go Gig is a networking agency that is launching their reach in Rochester. They say in these times, it's important to have an open mind. Uh, the pandemic is opening doors to um, companies that are willing to broaden their horizons. So it's it's not just a hard skills based economy anymore. Uh, a lot of companies are looking for, you know, bringing in candidates that are of a great cultural fit um, to their organization that really fit the mold. While the pandemic is posing some challenges for Steven, he says you just have to be patient. Even in the film world, you might not have a gig available. You have to try to look at what else you can do that's related and really try to try to stretch the skills that you've built upon. And that networking company, Go Gig, allows people to build a platform and anonymously reach out to employers. Employers can reach out to you without that fear of discrimination. As for Steven, he's looking for new work every day. One of his latest gigs, subbing in his high school for Italian lessons. In Rochester, Eric had a cost. Back to you, Adam. All right, Eric had a thank you. Earlier this week, New York Senator Chuck Schumer urged Congress to pass an extension of pandemic unemployment insurance. It allows gig workers to qualify for unemployment when they normally would not. That insurance is expected to expire the day after Christmas.